Okay, so this is the introduction to debating in world's format. BP stands for British Parliamentary. Same thing. And if you need to contact me at any time later, you have my email there. So if you have questions. So this is the, the topic of the introductory lecture. And the outline is first part, parliamentary debate, what is it? So for people who have never debated before, this is a very, very short introduction to what parliamentary debate is. Second part, British parliamentary debate, or world's format, which is the method that we're going to be using. And for ESS members who already know North American style or Asian style, this is a chance to expand your knowledge of different styles. Then watching and judging. So that part will be introducing what you can expect in the demonstration. Is that a question? No, OK. Um, and then demonstration debate. So the topic for the demonstration debate is probably something you already read when, when Professor Inoue was advertising the class, but maybe, maybe not. No? OK. Anyway, the topic for the demonstration will be this one. Let's read it all together. Are you ready? Yes? Everybody ready? OK, go. This house would incentivize families to take care of their retired parents at home. So how many of you have grandparents living with you at home? Raise your hand if the answer is yes. One, two. Not many, right? How many of you have grandparents living some other place, not at home with you? Raise your hand if the answer is yes. Oh, almost everybody, right. So this motion is proposing a big change. Maybe. Actually, it doesn't say this house would require all grandparents to live, all retired people to live with their children. But it says incentivize. So incentivize means give some kind of extra motivation, some kind of extra push to have people take care of their retired parents at home. People my age, or are your parents still alive? Yeah, yeah Professor. In Osaka. In, in Osaka, not at home, though. Right, well. But under this motion, if it passes, there would be some kind of incentive Maybe a very strong incentive. Strong incentive would be if you do not take care of your parents at home, we will shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a very strong incentive. But probably in the debate, we won't have such a strong incentive as that. That would be maybe a little bit unrealistic. Anyway, proposing a social change. That's what debating is all about. So you'll get a chance to hear this debate. You'll get a chance to, to hear how it happens. Uh, and then finally, number part five, last part, we'll have about half an hour after the debate to discuss and talk about which team did the best job and talk about what the issues were in the debate. So you will all be judges. If you're not a debater, you will all be judges in that, in that demonstration debate. And I will help guide you in a judgment so we can, we can look at how debates are judged as well. OK. So on to the first part, parliamentary debate, what is it? And this, there are four things you need to have a debate. Let's read them all together. What's number one? One or two teams per side. Second, motion. Motion is debating vocabulary. It's what we call the topic of debating. Uh, number three. Rules. You can't have everybody talking at the same time and interrupting and say, no, shut up, it's my turn. <laughs> that, would be, that would be a fight, not a debate. So you need rules. And then number four, judges. judges. Because it's like a sport. Just like you have judges for gymnastics in the Olympics or judges for figure skating, you have judges for debating. There's no definite answer in a debate who won. Maybe, maybe even if in this room we have about 32 or 33 people, if 30, 
two people say this team won, but one person says the other team won, is the one person wrong? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the one person should think very hard, am I wrong? Uh, but there's no absolute answer. So you need judges. You need people to judge, to make some kind of decision, hopefully a good decision in a debate. So those are the four things. OK, part two of what you need, a little bit more detail. So the first thing you do before the debate happens is you choose teams and sides. Um, and then let's read all together underneath that. Choose teams and sides, and then introducing you to some debating vocabulary. So are you ready? OK, go. Government, or affirmative, or proposition, must support the motion. Opposition, or negative, must oppose it. Right. So if there's a motion, like incentivizing families to raise retired parents at home, if you are in affirmative or government, you must support. Maybe your personal opinion is, I oppose, but you must support. It's a little bit artificial, but it makes you think. This is one of the best things about debating. You have to think about a different opinion sometimes. If the motion is, this house believes Japan should uh, give the uh, Senkaku Islands to China. <laughs> How many people support? Anybody? Nobody, right? But if you're debating and you're a government, you must support. <laughs> But how can you possibly give Senkaku Islands to China? It's impossible, right? Yeah, but somehow, you must support. In life, in life, we very rarely try to think about the other side, the other opinion. In China, many people think, right? Oh, Japan should give the Senkaku Islands to China. It's obvious. Oh, they're Chinese islands, really, right? Chinese people think so. But why? <laughs> Nobody in Japan can understand, right? But and maybe they're wrong. But still, that's one good thing about debating. You, sometimes you have to think about the other side. Usually in your life, you don't think about the other side. And uh, psychologically, right, people have something they call confirmation bias. You always want to think about things that support your opinion. Uh, but it's good to sometimes expand your mind. So I think that's really good about debating. Anyway, you choose the team first, and you choose the side first. You don't get to choose if you're in favor or against. You, you are given a side. Uh, second step, just all together, go. All together, ready? OK, go. Choose a motion. THB, this house believes. THW, this house would. THS, this house supports. So those short abbreviations, those are things I will use on these slides a lot. You need to know those. This house believes, this house would, or this house supports. There are three examples below. Let's read them. Go. This house believes war is never justified. This house would legalize drugs. This house supports women's colleges. OK. Next slide. Here's your first chance to discuss. Title, what are we debating about? Exercise. Let's read together. Are you ready? Go. With a partner, discuss what each of these sample motions really means. Try to come up with a clear definition of what the debate is about. So one, this house believes war is never justified. Two, this house would legalize drugs. Three, this house supports women's colleges. Here are some hints you can use to talk about these motions. So what words are unclear? Does the motion call for a specific action? If so, who will do it, where, and how? All right. You need to talk about that right now with people sitting nearby. OK, everybody stop. Everybody stop. So let's 
let's talk about these motions together a little bit. So was it difficult? Yes, good. That's, that's why debating is also worth your time intellectually for thinking about things. It's, it's very good. So first one, this house believes war is never justified. Oh, I can erase session three? OK. Thank you. Uh, so which words are a little bit unclear here? Which words are, are not clear? What, which words do we need to explain? Justified. Maybe justified, but I think that one is pretty clear. Or this one, right, especially. Uh, when I was talking with, let's see, Kenichi, is that right? Uh, Yuichi and uh, Kenichi. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, ge gen gen Genichi? Genichi. Sorry. Yeah, well, okay, so I was talking with Yuichi and Genichi, and they said, <laughs> There are two kinds of war. One is attacking, and one is defending. Oh. Mm. OK. So which, which kind of war are we talking about? Never justified. Which one? Attacking? That's what I would do, too. If I were making this debate, I would try to say, well, this house believes war is never justified. When we talk about war in this debate, we mean attacking another country. So whatever the reason, we think attacking a country is never justified, anywhere, anytime. Defending yourself, if another country attacks you first, is OK. But that's not what we're debating about. We're debating about attacking other countries. Make sense? So that's actually the first step in any debate, is you need to know what are you really debating about. Because language is never 100% clear. Actually, even if one team explains very clearly we're debating about attacking, not defending, maybe still the other team can be confused. Language is never 100% clear. But you want to try to make it as clear as possible. So that's the first step. Debating is, is very difficult. It's very intellectual. And it involves a lot of really good academic skills, like explaining and defining. Uh, but that's the first step. In this case, in this debate, are we proposing a specific action? Yes or no? No. We're not proposing any action. We're talking about justified or not justified. We're talking about good or bad. Basically, it's an idea that we're talking about. It's a value. So that's not a specific action in this debate. To give our definition, we just have to really explain what war means. So war means attacking, not defending yourself. Attacking somebody else is never justified, not in any case. Not even if those people are attacking a third person. Maybe, you can say, right? So, so in this case, it's not an action, but it's an idea that we're debating about. How about number two? I'm going to, yeah, nice. We don't have this in Korea. Uh, this house would legalize drugs. OK, so what, what words are unclear in this case? 
drugs and maybe legalize, okay? What about drugs? When I was talking with, uh, let's see, Yuichi, oh, no, no, Shiro and Yohei. Yes, you're, you're, you're Shiro and Yohei, right? Yohei said, drugs are marijuana. Sounds okay? Okay, that's one idea. Anybody with a different idea? Okay, Kenzie. Opium. Opium. Anybody with a different idea? So, uh, yes, Hiro. Uh, normal medicine. Uh, so, uh, medicine. Okay, like, uh, okay, so actually, Hiro is doing something different with this whole thing. Indirect selling system for medical drugs. Mm. Like internet or something like that? Uh huh, okay. That's something you can do, too. You don't have to look at one word. You can look at two words together and say, what does this mean? Um, but let's just go back to the more simple focus, right? Drugs. So it could be marijuana. It could be opium. It could be medicine. What else could it be? Anybody with a different idea? Oh, come on. You guys, like... Marijuana, opium, you must know names of some other drugs. What's another drug? Cocaine. Cocaine, okay, good, thank you. Um, sorry, what's your name? My name's Joe. Yo, okay, cocaine. What about all three of them? Could that be okay? Like, we call those recreational. Recreational drugs. Recreation means like for entertainment, for pleasure. So many possibilities, right, for drugs. How about legalize? So Hiro's idea actually, it combines these two. It says like medical drugs, medicine, but legalize means legalize on the internet, internet sales. What other, anybody with a different idea? Okay, in the back. Sorry, what's your name again? Tomohiro Naka. Tomohiro. Tomohiro. Yeah. Prescriptions. Sorry? Prescriptions. Prescriptions, okay. By prescription. Okay. So if we have a prescription, then we can, can have it. Um, in this case, there are actually many, many, many different possibilities. But I have a question before, before we move on. It, are we taking a specific action here? Yes, we are, right? Legalizing right now, right now it implies that they're not legal, that there's a law saying it's, it's not possible. So we are changing a law here. So in this case, we have a specific action. So. If it's a specific action, we need to explain more. Not just the unclear words, but if it's a specific action, we need to explain this house. Who? Where? What, what ideas do you have about this house? Who will do the legalizing? Yes. The government. What government? Okay, so this house could be the Japanese government. Anybody with a different idea? Kenji. United Nations. The United Nations. Maybe. That would be a little strange because I don't think the United Nations has any drug laws right now. <laughs> but anyway. Right? If it's a specific action, we need to explain also who will do it. And 
Maybe how will they do it? If it's the UN, how will they legalize drugs, Kenji? Explain to me. <laughs> um, that's not really something the UN does, right? Maybe you could say, oh, well, we think the UN should make an international agreement to legalize sales of marijuana around the world. It's possible, right? But that's why if there's a specific action, you don't only need to explain the words, you need to explain who and how will it be done. And in this case, instead of a values debate, then we have, this is what's called a policy debate. Can you erase that one? Oh, I can erase this part too? OK. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. So in this case, we have what's called a policy debate. Somebody is making a specific policy, a specific plan to change something. Uh, and we need to explain this house. Here, this house believes war is never justified. It's an idea. So this house, it means everybody, right? It means people. Uh, you don't have to explain that part. But in this case, you do have to explain that part. So that's part of what debating is about. It's just explaining what are we talking about. It's a really important part of debating, actually. And uh, without going to the third example, let me just go to my next slide. What are we debating about? Part two. Let's read together. Are you ready? Yes. OK, go. Sometimes different definitions can change the debate. For example, this house would legalize drugs. A, TH, this house equals Japan. And legalize drugs equals make medical marijuana legal. What's medical marijuana? Medical marijuana. What is that? You know? Anybody know? Some people use marijuana because, like, for example, their eyes. Older people who have uh, eye disease, glaucoma. Marijuana helps improve their eyesight. Some people who have cancer and take drugs to destroy the cancer cells, chemotherapy. Some people smoke marijuana because it helps them overcome the pain and overcome uh, digestive problems because of the cancer drugs. So that's medical marijuana. Is it legal in Japan right now? No, right? But in some countries, it's legal. Even in some parts of the United States, in some states, it's legal to have marijuana for medical purposes. Hmm. But OK, so this house is Japan. Legalized drugs equals make mar medical marijuana legal. B, this house equals all countries. And legalized drugs equals Make marijuana legal for pleasure <laughs> using the Netherlands coffee shop model. <laughs> right? In the Netherlands, you can go into like a coffee shop, except it's not, it doesn't sell coffee. It sells marijuana. And you can smoke the marijuana in the shop, in the coffee shop. You can't take the marijuana out in the street and smoke it there. You can't take it home, but in the coffee shop, it's OK. Mm. And that's very different from <laughs> C. Right. And that's very different from <laughs> this house is the Japanese government. And legalized drugs equals make selling medical drugs on the internet legal. <laughs> and that's very different from this house is the UN. <laughs> and legalized drugs means making a policy where every country allows marijuana for recreational purposes, right? Like, so sometimes it's very important to explain what are we debating about because it can very much change the situation. Uh, OK. What are we debating about three? All together, go. Bonus, Bonus question. 
How about this definition for the motion, this house would legalize drugs? This house equals all countries, legalize drugs equals all sales of the United States, and the United Okay, talk about that with your partner. How about that definition? Good, bad, so-so? Okay, everybody stop. So, actually I added some extra, extra, ex extra words to this definition. So, let's read it again. This house is all countries. Legalized drugs is allow sales in pharmacies with a prescription to adults of new medicine that have been proven or tested to be safe and effective. So how is that definition? Good, bad, so-so? Maybe bad. Why bad? Because uh, this is no change. No change, right? How about now? Does, like, in in most countries, in all countries, can you buy drugs in a pharmacy? Yes. Can you buy drugs that have been tested so they're safe? Yes. Can you buy drugs with a prescription? Yes. If you're an adult, yes, right? OK, so it's very clear. What's the problem? There is no room to debate this one. Yes, did you hear what Ryo said? Ryo, say loudly. Uh, there is no room to debate this motion. Uh, because this motion is too clear. Uh, too clear. Uh, too, too, too obviously true, obviously good, right? So we have, in a debate, you have two sides, right? What's the first side? First side is called government. They support the motion. What's the other side called? Opposition. opposition. And government and opposition, they have to disagree. They have to have what we call clash. So in this case, government can say drugs that are safe and tested and medicine How about opposition? What will opposition say? No, we hate drugs. Everyone should die. <laughs> yeah, there's no clash. There's no way for opposition to clash. Not reasonably. Opposition could be unreasonable. Yes, we could say we don't, we don't support medicine. We oppose medicine. We oppose technology. We oppose human life. Because who causes all the problems in the world? People. <laughs> we should all die, so we oppose this motion. It's impossible, though. It's not reasonable. So this is a bad definition. This is a bad definition because there is no clash at all. You have to have some kind of clash. You have to have some kind of change, usually. Or at least some kind of disagreement. You must have a clash or a disagreement in a debate. OK, so, so going back to the slideshow then, oh, let's just go back one. So this is a bad definition, but, but for the first part of this lecture, what is a debate? This is what debate is. Debate is clash. Debate is clash between two sides. So in order to have a debate, you need to have a motion. You need to have, well, you need to have two sides. You need to have a motion. You need to have maybe some clear definition, and then you need to have some arguments on both sides. And then also, yes, rules, judges. So are you ready to try it? No? Yes. How many people say yes? OK, say it loudly. Yes. Good. All right, we need rules. So here are the rules. Let's read together. Are you ready? Go. Rules for one minute debates. One, find a partner. Two, 
Three. Okay, and four. All right, so I think everybody has a partner, except people who are going to do the demonstration debate. I think you guys can go now to prepare. So maybe we need to rearrange for some new partners after this. But go ahead, demonstration debaters from Day, from ESS, go, go ahead. I think uh, ESS people can help you find a room to prepare in. All right, everybody, did you decide who's government and who's opposition? Yes. If you're government, raise your hand. Government. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, you guys in the back. Government. Right, okay, good. Hiro and, uh, and Kensuke, who's government? Government. Government? Okay. If you're opposition, raise your hand. <laughs> All right, looks like there's one opposition member in each pair. Okay, good. So we're, we're done with step one. So step two, I'm going to show you a motion on a slide, and then you have one minute to think. I will time everybody. And you can write some notes if you want, like your ideas, but one minute. And then I will say, OK, everybody stop. And then government, everybody whose government stands up and gives your one minute speech. And then stop. And then everybody whose opposition stands up and gives your one minute speech, right? Before we do that, a couple things that might help you a little bit. So for one minute debates, how to say it if you're the government. First, go. The motion. the motion we're debating is like this house would legalize drugs, for example. Number two, it's an important issue because, because these days we are becoming a more liberal society and we don't think that people should be told by their government whether they can or cannot do things like smoke marijuana. And number three, I strongly support this idea because. So you might also want to give a definition. Like the motion we're debating is this house would legalize drugs. And by drugs, we mean marijuana for recreational purposes in Japan. So this is important because Japan is a more liberal society. And we realize that marijuana is not so dangerous. People should have a free choice. I strongly support this motion because of two reasons. First, freedom of choice. And second, pleasure. <laughs> so first, in principle, right? The government should not tell you what you can and can't do in your free time as long as you do not hurt other people. And we know marijuana doesn't hurt other people, not any more than many other things like cigarettes that we allow people to do. So people should have the freedom to make that choice for themselves. We know marijuana is less addictive than cigarettes. We know that marijuana causes less damage to your body than cigarettes. We know that marijuana is not addictive in any physical way, so people should have that choice. Second, the value of pleasure. In your life, why do you live? It's because you do things that you want to do. Because if you like to play sports like soccer, you do that not because it benefits society to kick a soccer ball. No, you do it for pleasure. Well, the same thing for marijuana. Pleasure is good. So we're proud to support this motion. Right? That's what government does. OK? If you're opposition, how to say it for opposition? You said that. Mm -hmm. But your argument isn't persuasive because. Mm. And number two, I also oppose this idea because. Mm. Give your own argument, right? So if you're opposition to this motion, you come up and say, you said that we should support this motion for two reasons, freedom of choice and pleasure. But we don't think those are good ideas because, first of all, the government should not give people choices that will actually be harmful to them. You use cigarettes as an example. Well, we know cigarettes are harmful. In fact, we're trying to discourage people from smoking cigarettes. So why should we encourage them to smoke something else that's also bad for their lungs? It's not a good idea. 
If nobody smoked cigarettes, you would never argue that the government should legalize cigarettes. Why should you argue the government should legalize marijuana? It's bad. It's bad. And you also argued about pleasure. But that's not really a good reason, too, because we think doing a bad thing for pleasure that harms your health is not good. Soccer is much more healthful. That's why soccer is better. We also oppose this idea because we think that there is a large international trade in marijuana. It's not something we grow in Japan. And that we think it will be bad for our economy, because we will, we will have to import many of these drugs to let people smoke. And instead, we should be encouraging our local industries. So we're proud to oppose this motion. Something like that. Okay? Actually, that was a bad argument, I think. Because I think marijuana can be grown in Japan, probably. But, but that's what you do in this debating. Okay? That's an example. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So when I put the next slide on with the motion, government and opposition, both of you, you have one minute to prepare your ideas. All right? Here we go. This house believes war is never justified. Go. <laughs> All right, everybody stop. That is one minute. Government, stand up. <laughs> OK, stop. Yeah. If you need to finish your sentence, go ahead, finish your sentence. For this reason, I strongly support this idea. Good. Excellent. Right. OK, if you heard what Yo said, that's a good way to end. Therefore, for these reasons, I strongly support this idea. When I say stop, you can still talk for another five or 10 seconds. It's OK. All right. All right, so thank you very much to the government speaker. And now opposition speaker, stand up. All right, you have 10 seconds to think. What are you going to say? All right, 10. Ready? We now call the first opposition speaker. Go. OK, everybody stop. <laughs> So we oppose this motion. Everybody all together. So we oppose this motion. So we oppose this motion. I should have put that up on the slide. But when you finish, when you finish your speech, it's always good to finish with some strong statement. So if you're the government, you can say, so we support the motion. Or, you know, so often, often government side will say, so we are proud to support the motion. Something like that. And opposition, when you when you conclude your speech, you can just very simply say, so we oppose the motion. So, so that's why. We oppose the motion. Right? Something like that. So I think it's good to finish your speech with a, 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 a nice ending. All right? All together, one more time for government. Go. So we are proud to support the motion for opposition. So that's why we oppose the motion. Something like that. You can end your speech. So when I go like this, that's the ending time. But don't end right like that. Don't end. And because drugs will help, <laughs> don't do that. Because drugs will help the criminals more than they will help the economy. We we are proud to oppose the motion, right? Finish your sentence. Finish your sentence. Always have a, a nice, graceful ending. All right, we're going to do it one more time. <laughs> one more time. If you were government last time, you are now opposition this time. If you were opposition last time, you are now government this time. All right, so raise your hand if you're government this time. Government.
Government. OK, good. Raise your hand if you're opposition. Good. OK, second motion. This house supports women's colleges. Yay. One minute to prepare. One minute. OK, everybody stop. That's one minute. Government speakers, please stand up. On the motion, this house supports women's colleges. We now call the first speaker from the government. Go. OK. Good. I, I heard some final like conclusions, like, so we support women's colleges, I think is what Hiro said. That's good. Excellent. All right. Opposition speakers, stand up. You have 10 seconds to think. All right, 10, OK. And on the motion, this house supports women's colleges, we now call the first speaker from the opposition. Go. OK, good job. All right, even after 1 minute and 20 seconds, uh, Gen Gen Genichi? Gen Genichi? Yeah, he, he still wanted to keep talking. <laughs> But that's good. This exercise should show you something about your own ability, your mental ability. Even though you only had one minute to prepare, you have a lot of things to say. That's good, right? In a regular debate, you have, in British parliamentary, the time is not much, only 15 minutes. But in 15 minutes, you can maybe think of many things to say. So that's good. You're debating. Debating is hard. It's very hard. But it's not impossible. It's possible. You can do it. Uh, all right. We have only about five minutes until the demonstration debate. I'm going to go through the next part of the speech a bit quickly, British parliamentary or world's format. But when you see the example, when the debaters do the sample debate, then you'll know. You'll understand everything. So I'm going to go pretty quickly, though. So, in just two-sided debates, like Asian style, Australasian style, North American and Canadian parliamentary style, world schools style, et cetera, there are many debates with just two sides. Uh, it's based on a judicial model, like a courtroom, where you have a judge, and then you have the lawyer for one side, and you have the lawyer for the other side, right? Uh, and the result is a win or a loss. The motion can stand or the motion can fall. Uh, and the speaker rolls. Each speaker on the team, you should support your case, and you should attack your opponent's case. But Brit British parliamentary is a four-sided debate. So it's a little more complicated. So it's based British parliamentary style, also called Worlds or WUDC, World University Debate Championship style. It's based on coalition politics in parliament. For example, on the motion, this house would tax the rich, rich people. The DPJ and the Japanese Communist Party and the Socialist Party, et cetera, they might all support the motion, right? But different ways. And on the other hand, the LDP and the Your Party and all the conservative parties, right? They might oppose the motion, but for different reasons. So that's what, what British parliamentary is based on, different parties in, in a political system. Uh, the result is teams are ranked first. First place team gets three points through fourth. Fourth place team gets zero points in that debate. And the teams with the most points then go advance into semifinals or finals like that. OK, speaker rules. You make your own team stand out from the others. Because you have to stand out. You have to beat the team that's on your own side, as well as beating the teams on the other side. And you can selectively attack or sometimes ignore opponents within some limits. You have to pay attention to every other team, but you can pay more attention to one team and less attention to some other team. OK, this is the way the roles and the, the, the teams are explained. So we have, first of all, a opening half of the debate. If you're familiar with North American style, it's almost the same, but no reply speech. And then we have a government bench, government supporting, and we have an opposition bench opposing. So in opening half, we have 
the opening government, which is the prime minister and the deputy prime minister. And then we have opening opposition, which is the leader of opposition and deputy leader of opposition. In closing half, we have closing government, member of government, government whip. The whip is the one that like, cracks the whip and tries to push everything from the other side away. And closing opposition, member of opposition, opposition whip. Some rules to remember. If you're used to Asian style where you get three motions and you can choose, in BP style there's only one motion. No ranking, no choice. You just get one motion. Uh, you only have 15 minutes to prepare, although demonstration debates and exhibitions are often exceptions to the rules. So right now those guys have been preparing already for like 20 minutes and they'll be preparing a little longer. And they knew the motion yesterday, so they even started thinking before, right? Um, all speeches are seven minutes, including the final two. Government whip goes before opposition whip, no reverse order. It's not like North American or, or Asian like that. And closing half teams must bring new matter to the floor, preferably as an extension. That is a whole new argument. Um, new rebuttals can count, but they aren't as effective. So the closing half has to bring in new ideas beyond what the opening half has. Role of the opening government. Let's read all together. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Set a context for the debate and define the motion. And that's what we were just practicing right now all together. Second, make constructive arguments. Third, rebut arguments by the opening opposition. Fourth, steal the arguments of the closing government if they hint at them soon enough through their POIs. If you don't know what POIs are, that's OK. And finally, stay in the debate through frequent POIs that focus on your best points. Maybe I should say something about POIs. POI means point of information. If I'm speaking, if I'm saying we support women's colleges because first, there is a lot of discrimination in society. And then somebody in the audience can ask a point of information. We know there's a lot of discrimination because somebody ask a POI, please. <laughs> point of information. Okay, that's a point of Yes, what's your point? You did the same answer. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right? Okay, points of information. The other team can jump up and try to ask a point in the middle. Okay. Opening opposition. Go. Accept the context or recontextualize. Accept the definition or definitional challenge. Concede or rebut opening government arguments. Make constructive arguments. Steal closing opposition arguments if they're revealed early. And ask POIs to stay in the debate. OK? For closing government, ask POIs, but wait until the DLO speech to reveal your extension in a POI. Summarize and characterize the opening half of the debate. Rebut opening, argument, uh, oh, opening opposition and closing opposition arguments. Be consistent with the opening government, knifing hurts you more than them. Knifing means if, you, if opening government says we support women's colleges because there is discrimination, and closing government says there's no discrimination, but people just want to be more different, that's contradicting or knifing the opening half. So you, you don't want to do that. You have to agree with your opening half. Offer an extension, new ideas, and sum up the whole debate, emphasizing your team's contribution in the whip speech. And finally, closing opposition. Ask POIs. But be careful. Sum up and characterize the debate so far. Rebut opening government and closing government arguments. Be consistent with the opening opposition. Offer an extension 
and sum up the whole debate, emphasizing your team's contributions in the whip speech. OK, um, I think actually it's almost time for the demonstration debate. So I'm going to skip through a couple of those other slides. And I'm also going to Yeah, extension, what's that exactly? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll go back to that, that presentation in a second, but uh, mm. OK. I, I, think I, I think it'll be helpful if I just make a diagram like this over here. So OG, what does that mean? Opening government. So what does opening government have to do first? Yeah, context and definition. And then second, basically, argue. Arguments. That's really basically what they have to do. What's OO? What does, what does that mean? Opening, opposition. Opening opposition. They basically usually accept this. There are possible situations where they can challenge, but usually they just accept. They say, OK, this is what we're debating about. And they agree to have an organized debate. It gets very complicated if they don't. So, so we're going to skip that part. But what do they do also? They rebut and then more arguments. And then when it comes back to this side, they also rebut and make arguments. Right. So basically, the debate keeps going back and forth. Rebut and arguments, like that. When you get to this part, CG, what's that? Closing government. It's starting to get a little bit messy, because both sides, we've had four speeches already. Both sides have made some arguments. Both sides have rebutted. So the first thing they should probably do is organize. Organize the first half and say, this is what happened in the first half of the debate. And then they should make a new argument, which is called an extension. OK. Is it hard to see? <laughs> so they should make a new argument called an extension. Uh, if they don't have a new argument, they can just make new rebuttals to the opening half. But, but then it just keeps going. Closing opposition also, opening opposition, or closing government rather, has organized. So o, o, a CO, closing opposition, can also organize a little bit. But it sort of responds to that. And then also it makes new arguments. A new argument called an extension, and then rebuttal, and then rebuttal. Right, so and then it goes back and forth again. So that's basically to simplify what I said before. So this is what we should be looking for in the debate. OK, and? It's, let's see, F5. Yes. Oh, but now I'm right at the beginning of the whole thing. Uh, OK. <laughs> right. So then this is what we should do. The demonstration debate is actually, we was scheduled for five minutes before now, but we're a little late. Let's just read together. Number one, think about the motion. This house would incentivize families to take care of their retired parents at home. Number two, 
Oh, I really like this team. Well, you don't have to choose a team to cheer for, but it's nice if you cheer. Number three? See handout. Let's see. Here we go. Do you have this handout? No? OK. In that case. So on your debate notes paper, if you want, you can write today's date and the motion. Uh, and then you can take notes for the prime minister and for the leader of opposition, the deputy prime minister, deputy leader. And then on the second page, closing half, member of government, member of opposition, government whip, opposition whip. Uh, number four, enjoy the debate. And number five, think about who won and why. Um, so who should win? These questions actually probably, I'll just put these up afterwards. Just listen to the debate. Think about who makes good arguments, basically. Who makes sense? Um, and I think we're ready for the demonstration debate.